this is Lady Boule, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up. Thank you for your comments. And thank you for sharing the videos. Well, it's official. Black women are the most educated group in the United States. When I first saw this, I almost didn't believe it. So I had to go and dig to do the research to make sure that I wasn't reading wrong. But according to the National Center for Education Statistics, African American women are the most educated group in the United States population. Now y'all know how this works. Whenever something comes down that defies stereotypes about African Americans, there is a desperate effort to dispute and debunk that information. When I went to internet to do the research to find out more about this, it was almost hilarious. The number of blogs, and these are people that are popping up out of nowhere, they are not credible, trying to debunk this, saying that it wasn't true, and then they do this voodoo statistics trying to show this thing or that thing, and to say that, oh no, black women are not the most educated, they're just the most educated in the black race, which is to say that they're more educated than black men, which we already know that. But that's not what the National Center for Education Statistics says. It says that black women are the most educated in the U.S. population. I read another blog which said, yes, black women are the most educated, but their educations don't do any good. These are useless degrees. They don't mean anything. So whenever we learn how to play the game, they change the rules or they change the narrative. Now, if we were the most ignorant and the least educated, that would be a big deal. That would be something they would all get on board with. But when you say something like black women are the most educated in the United States, they're talking about more educated than white men and white women. Now, that right there is a problem. So they have to try to find a way, find some kind of a loophole or some kind of way to say, no, this isn't right. It is right. The National Center for Education Statistics is a branch of the United States Department of Education and specifically a part of the U.S. federal statistical system. This organization has been in operation since 1867. That's 154 years. I think they know how to collect information, disseminate it, and pass it on to the public. So while I was trying to get some different points of view on this article, I was reading different blogs. Some of them support it. The claim that African American women are indeed the most educated in the United States, but some didn't. But I came across this article of this man that had written uh, a dissenting point of view using voodoo statistics, making up stuff to claim that black women are not the most educated in the United States. And a black woman came into his comments section and she said she was working on a PhD in statistics. And she told him that his breakdown was wrong, that his interpretation of the data was wrong and why. And basically she's telling him he didn't know what he was talking about. And she heated him up so much that he closed the comments section for that article. But there again, you had a person who knew what she was talking about, and she shut him down. Well, let's look at what the article says from the National Center for Education Statistics. It says that between 2009 and 2010, black women earned 68% of associate degrees, 66% of bachelor's degrees, 71% of master's degrees, and 65% of all doctorate degrees awarded to black students. That means that black women received over 50% of the degrees awarded in those four areas. It also says that by both race and gender, there is a higher percentage of black women, 9.7%, enrolled in college than any other group, including Asian women, white women, and white men. It further states that the percentage of black students attending college increased from 10 to 15% from 1976 to 2012, 
why the percentage of white students fell from 84% to 60% in that time frame. So what has been consistent is African American women have continued to earn more degrees than anybody else. Although black women only make up 12.7% of the female population in the country, they consistently make up over 50% and sometimes much more of the number of blacks who receive post-secondary degrees. Percentage-wise, black women outpace white women, Latinas, Asian Pacific Islanders, and Native Americans. The reason that I wanted to report on this is that there is a lot of negative conversation going around about black American women, whether it's about her hair weave, her nails, her being overweight, being a single mom. There's just a lot of negative energy. So it is good to hear some good news once in a while. African American women are the most educated group in America. That is a very important accomplishment and anybody who says that it isn't is not well informed. Because let's be real, an education makes a difference in your social life, it makes a difference in your financial situation, if you're going to raise children, it makes a difference in how prepared your children are when they go to school and how well they perform while they're in school because an educated mother can help her children. And last but not least, your education determines the kind of job that you'll do. During the pandemic, African Americans suffered more, were more exposed to people who had contracted the disease because of the kinds of jobs that they did, mostly in service jobs and in jobs where they were having more contact with the public. But people working from home were mostly people whose jobs required education. So your education can determine the quality of your work and the quality of your health. Pursuing education has always been important to a certain segment of the African American community. But another group of African American women began pursuing education as well. In the 1990s, when Bill Clinton was president, they came up with this welfare to work program and they were gonna kick everybody off welfare, meaning black women. They're gonna kick black women off welfare and make them go to work because the problem was that they didn't wanna work. Now, what they never say is that there are more white people on welfare than black people and there are more white people receiving food stamps than black people. But getting harsh, getting tough on black people is a winning platform for any political candidate. Their constituents want to know, what are you gonna do about those black people? That's the most pressing question. What are you gonna do about those black people? And the answer has to be, I'm gonna get tough on them. I'm gonna get tough on those black people. I'm kicking these black women off welfare and making them go to work. That was a winning strategy in the 90s. There were black people on welfare, but they do this voodoo kind of statistics. That's, that's something that black people have to really remember. When they make this argument, they start talking about percentage-wise. Percentage-wise, there are more black people on welfare than white people. But when you look at the hard numbers, and that's what you have to look at because they're not sending checks based on percentage. They're giving out checks and food stamps based on hard numbers. According to the 2020 census, at 250,520,000 white people make up 75% of the United States population. At 44 million and eight, African Americans make up 13% of the U.S. population. Okay, let's do the math. According to the welfare statistics, 38.8% of white people are on welfare and 39.8% of black people are on welfare. So they're right. Black people receive 1% more welfare than white people. Now let's look at what that looks like in hard numbers. 38.8% of 250,520,000 is 97,000,000. 201,760 white people receiving welfare. 
So let's look at black people. 39.8% of 44 million is 17,512,000. So that's how many black people are on welfare. So rounded to the nearest 100,000, there are 97,200,000 white people on welfare and 17,500,000 black people on welfare. Overwhelmingly, white people receive more welfare than black people, and they have not been robbed of any generational wealth. African Americans have had a steeper hill to climb in this country than white people have. There shouldn't be any of them on welfare based on what was given to them, and that is my opinion. So the Welfare Works program was a wake-up call for black women. Many of them were receiving welfare, but they were bright, intelligent women, young women. So what they did was they went to work. Some of them went back to school. The government did pay for child care services. So they put their children in daycare. Some of them went back to school, and some of them went to work. Now, the real estate companies always keep their ears to the ground. So when they realized that all of these women were going back to work, they started building single-family homes. I know they did now around here where I live in the South. And then all of a sudden, those women realized they could buy homes for themselves. So they started buying the single-family homes. And then they started buying cars. And they leveled up. So what was meant for really mean and evil, the women turned it around and worked it for good. I think that speaks very well of African-American women. Some of them became nurses. Some of them started out as LPN, licensed practical nurses, and then they went back and got their BS degrees and became registered nurses. Several of them became daycare center teachers. Some of them became public school teachers, but they began getting college degrees. They started tracking this in 2000 about black women getting more degrees and that welfare to work situation started in the mid 90s. So I think that the welfare to work black women realizing that they really could do better for themselves. I think that accounts for some of the increase in African American women getting college degrees. Now let me get off subject for a minute. These were women that had children. They went back to school, they got degrees, they got jobs, they leveled up. And they want men who have leveled up. And so now people are angry because black women don't want to take care of people laying up on them. I remember the woman that went to the so-called relationship expert and was humiliated. And I think that sort of went viral across the country humiliating a black woman who says that she wants a man who can take care of himself. These women should be supported and they should be applauded. And there are men who can love women with children, but they get all this pushback from black men on social media screaming they don't want to be stepdads. And they're right. Children want daddies. But here's the thing. If you don't want a single mother, don't you marry a single woman. But what they're trying to do is trying to keep other black men who have the gift of fatherhood, who know how to nurture, and who can be a blessing to these children, they don't want those men to be with the women. And that is when it gets crazy. Because there really are men out here who can love a woman who has children and who can help to raise those children and bring those children to adulthood in a functional and healthy way. So I think the black community needs to rally around black women and black men who want to build strong and healthy families. And that was just a mini rant. Back to black women in education. A lot of these young women are leaving high school with full ride scholarships. They've put in the work. They've gone through the honors program and the advanced placement program. Some of them already have college credits when they get to college. And then they go into the STEM programs, the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. These are really brilliant young women. And some of them are just women. They want to go to college. They come in there and they put in the work. But they've earned the right to be called the most educated group in America. They earned this. Nobody gives things like this to black people. 
I realized I focused a little bit more on single moms who went back to school in this video, but that is because they have driven up the numbers of black women getting college degrees. But I shout out to all of the African American women who are pursuing higher education, whether it is for an associate degree, a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, or a doctorate's degree, EDSs and all of the others in between. Shout out to all of the black women who are bringing this level of education to our community because it can only help. But let me know what you think. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share the video, and have a great day.